Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the month of, well, three months from the day that you watch it. Okay, so this is three months from now. You say so you watch this on April 1st. This is just an estimate. May, June, July. Right around that time. The timing is fluid. So what do we have for Leo three months from now? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Leo three months from now? We're going to start right here. What do we have for Leo three months from now? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Leo? Intuition. So you are going to be highly intuitive. Your gift may be increasing. Your intuition, you know, your spiritual gift, your a psychic ability, uh, something like that may inc be increasing to another level. Or you may be dealing with a healer. This is a healer energy. This is a spiritual advisor, a spiritual counselor, a psychic, a medium, a tarot reader, somebody that is very spiritual. Either this is you uh, increasing your abilities or you are dealing with this person. Your intuition is probably going to be giving you messages. You're probably going to be uh, getting a lot of signs during this time. You know, really pay attention to the signs. They're going to be coming right at you. Um, they'll be coming in the form of thoughts. They'll be coming in this, the form of physical things that appear. And they'll be coming in your dreams. So really pay attention to the signs. They're gonna, you're going to be getting lots of messages, downloads stuff like that. So what else? What else? The Fool. Starting fresh. Starting fresh. Starting with a clean slate. So you are going to be starting fresh. Painting a new picture. I think you've had this one recently. In another reading, um, this is the storm is over. You're about to blossom. Looks as though you're going to be building. You're going to be building someplace else. You may be moving. You, you could be moving to a new place. Um, it looks as though uh, this is an exciting time. I see a lot less fear. I see that you're ready to go. This is exciting. I think that you're going to take a leap of faith. And you're going to be doing something that you have never done before. Okay? This is very exciting. Um, you're being called to take a risk. Walking into unknown territory. So you're going to be doing something you have never, ever done before. Okay? You are. Let's get some of these. Oh, there they are. They went a flying too. There they are. And you may be intuitively guided to do something spur of the moment. Okay? Something could come up, spur of the moment, and you're being called to just do it. Your gut says to go for it, go for it. Go for it. Son, if that's not your card, I don't know what is. Happiness and well-being. Okay? So this is follow your heart. Okay? You will, you will be happy. Okay? This is like a renewal for you. Rainbow. I knew that the worst was over. The most difficult part of a situation is over. I knew that. I did. I know that. I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, it is. It, it's absolutely beautiful. Wow. There's been some sort of misunderstanding. Or there will be. Tree. Affairs with your family. Something to do with your family tree. Angel. Spiritual guidance. Protection from harm. 
you do there's some there is definitely some sort of spiritual guidance here and positive you're going to be getting some downloads and i just got chills the, I, I don't know if this is somebody that has passed away it doesn't have to be or a spirit guide it's a spirit guide that's what i just heard spirit guide so spirit guide angel guardian angel could be somebody else but you're going to be getting messages from somebody um maybe an ancestor that has passed away. It doesn't have to be. But this, it, there's some sort of uh, situation with your family which may have ended in some sort of misunderstanding. And if things have been rough or things have been, um, you've been blocked or you've been troubled or something, I think things are about to get better. Okay? There's going to be peace. Be there's peace because rainbows are a symbol of peace, peace to come could be a peace, there could be a truce, there could be somebody that is making peace within your family. Um, you are going to be happy with the overall outcome, put it that way. You really are. So I would say that you have some sort of protection here. You may have been struggling, but the struggle is just about over, okay? You have a new, a new beginning here. This is starting a new chapter, a new journey. This is exciting, okay? So whatever this is, it looks pretty good. I'm going to put that misunderstanding over here. And that makes sense because I feel like the misunderstanding is before this three months. I think you may have been up against a brick wall. But now it's like now you're free because this is freedom. You're free from that circumstance completely. You're free to go wherever you want. And you're being guided to do so. So you guys may be stepping into... Uh, new territory, and I mean like moving someplace, or you're just at a completely different place in your life, in your mind, okay, than where you were before. Um, get prepared. Get prepared for something to arrive. I feel as though your ships are about to come in. You may have been waiting. You may have been wondering when things were going to change. Well, th three months things are going to change, okay? So be prepared for things to change. Whatever you've been waiting for, something to happen. Now, when I see this, I think of the checkered flag, the finish line, okay? Something that you, this race, whatever you've been trying to prove, it's over. You don't have to prove yourself anymore. Now, whatever that means. Yeah, you, there's been some sort of competition. You may have been up, uh, up against some stiff competition, but I think it's over. I think the battle is over. I think that you're ready to just turn your back on it and go someplace else. You are definitely going to be turning your back on it and going someplace else. This has been too much. This is a lot. Okay, this is a lot. I think you've been under a lot of stress. It's like people have been pointing their finger at you. There's been, uh, you may have been dealing with some people that were mentally dysfunctional. They were out for revenge. It was a very volatile situation. You were dealing with a lot of competition and a lot of people that, uh, it's like they didn't care about you. This was definitely hostile. Okay, this is like a hostile situation where it's just like, just, just, I don't even care anymore. I don't care. I don't care. You know? Definitely a lot of fighting. But I think you're turning back on this competition. You're turning back on these these games. Okay? It's like, I'm not going to play this game anymore. I don't care about winning. You win. See ya. So, something like that. Um... Yeah, not giving to a situation. Six of Pentacles reverses. This is not reciprocating, not giving one-sidedness. Uh, there's been an abuse of power here. This is a setback. We have somebody here that has become unemployed or they're becoming unemployed or they're getting fired. Um, they didn't seek professional advice. They abused their power. Now, this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. There's somebody here that is very... They want to win at all costs. And if it means hurting you, well, so be it. So this, this Six of Pentacles reversed is, is inequality. Okay, it's inequality. Uh, it's domination. There's some sort of injustice here. And it's like we got somebody here that really was uh, very self-centered. Out for number one. This person uh, has been pushing people away. 
doesn't really care. Really, really doesn't care. Hmm. Now this is block. Blocking emotions. Refusing to see the truth. Refusing to accept the truth. Uh, staying in a situation that's hurting you. Make, needing to make a painful, stressful decision, but uh, but but not doing so. Holding on for dear life, you're holding on to something. Now this is this is an obsession. We got somebody here that is obsessed. They are obsessed with holding on to something, refusing to accept the truth. Somebody is refusing to accept. They're refusing to let go. Why? Blocking emotions, blocking the truth, holding on. So we got somebody here that is holding on. Holding on to something for the, all the wrong reasons. Needing to reevaluate the whole circumstance. Why are you holding on to something? You got There's something you need to let go of. There is. There's stubbornness here. There's definitely a lot of stubbornness here. We have some sort of denial. We got somebody here that's in denial. <sighs> Holding on to something that was taken away. Wanting to win. Oh my God. So we got somebody here that wants to win. Holding on to something that was taken away. This is taken away. blocking the truth, unable to see the truth. This is somebody who is unable, unwilling, unwilling to see the truth, unwilling to accept. Hmm. Highly competitive here. Definitely got somebody who wants to win and wants to win at all costs. Interesting. Fool again. Leaving it all behind. I think, Leo, you are going to be traveling. You're going someplace else. You're going to be leaving this uh, insecure situation that has that you've been holding on to. I think you're leaving it behind. That's leaving all the baggage behind. It's it's going someplace, leaving leaving this fight behind. Just no longer giving it your energy. It feels like you're you're ready. You're ready to open up. I think you're ready to go. I think you're going to be stepping out of this whole picture. You're going to be stepping out of this game. It's like, I'm done playing this game. I'm not playing anymore. I think that you were holding on because of divided loyalty. You had some sort of loyalty to this. But I think now you are ready. You're ready to go. You're ready You're ready to get on board. You're ready to go someplace else. It's like, you know, I don't want to play these games anymore. I don't want to play. I'm done playing. This hurts. It looks like it hurts. It's painful. It's stressful. It's too hard to hang on to something where uh, you don't get respected. There's a lack of respect. You're dealing with somebody who's not going to let go. This person's not going to let go. You have multiple options here. Somebody has been confused. They uh, have been having a hard time making the right choice. But it looks as though you're going to be presented with multiple options to go in a different direction. There's no doubt about it with this full card twice. Okay. You're going to have options presented to you that you have never even considered. And so you're going to be uh, torn. You're going to be torn between two sp specifically. Staying or going, obviously. So that's what you're going to be torn. You're going to be torn between, between two options. I think you're going to be given an option to move. To go someplace that... Uh, and leave all of this behind. All this drama. This is drama. Okay, you were in some sort of dramatic situation and you have a choice. You can choose to leave it all behind. You're going to be given the opportunity to leave everything and go. So get prepared for uh, the opportunity to leave. Okay, because that's what I feel. It's like somebody is going to give you the opportunity to just leave it all. You can just leave this all. You may be dealing with a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could also be dealing with an Aries. Uh, you could have somebody in your uh, vicinity that is very caring, very kind, very gentle, very loving. 
this person um, is very feeling and they're looking for love. They're looking for romance. They have a lot of love to offer. So I feel like you have somebody around you that is going to uh, give you an opportunity. This person's going to give you an opportunity. Um, it's very heartfelt. This person... Um, is doing is giving you this opportunity from their heart okay it's a genuine loving kind gesture put it that way um oh, we got two but there's some sort of there's some sort of suffering here this is heartache this is pain and not seeing a situation clearly you're definitely going to be in a state of confusion you really are it's hard because this is about shedding the old. And this is, it's hard to leave something behind. So the choice is you're going to have to leave something behind to move wherever it is that you this offer is. You're going to have to leave something behind. And I think that's the hard part. I think that you're going to be going through some sort of heartache, okay, or separation or suffering because you have to choose. You, ha you can't have both. So I think you're torn. You're going to be torn between at least two options. And one of, if one of these options breaks your heart to leave it behind. So you have to be willing to leave something behind to start fresh with whoever this person is that really cares about you. So I think that you are going to get a caring offer from somebody that gives you an opportunity to move someplace, but you'll have to leave behind a, whole, a dramatic situation that you have been holding on to. This is all part of the plan, and I think that, because the, the High Priestess holds the script, okay? So it's all part of the script, but you have to, you know, follow the script, and I think it's sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we fight what is meant to be, and I see there's been a lot of battling and fighting and obsession did we have an obsession here? Somebody's been holding on to something that out of stubbornness. Seriously. And, and it's, it's time to let it go. Let it go. It's, it's not about winning. It's about being happy at this point. Do you want to continue to win? Does it, does it have to be a win at, at all costs? Or do you want to be happy? That's what this is about. Because there is an opportunity for happiness here. There absolutely is. And that should be your main focus. But in order for you to find this happiness, I'm getting chills down both arms, you're, you're, you're going to have to leave that situation that uh, was very stormy and turbulent and dark behind you. I think you've been up against a brick wall and you've been trying to break through that wall. Stop trying to break through the wall. Turn around and find a different route. Go someplace else. So I feel as though um, this has to do with your family. I feel like you're going to, you know, maybe you're, you're moving away from one and towards another. Maybe you're coming up, you're, you're going to be have, meeting up with a new tribe or a different part of your family. Um, this, you know, spiritual guidance, protection from harm, rejection is God's protection. So you may be being protected, protected from harm, okay? That's why things happen. So anyway, you're going to be presented with an option or two options, okay? You're going to be presented with an option that you really uh, are confused about. I think that you're going to be confused because you know that you're going to have to leave something. And this, whatever you're leaving behind, maybe a job, maybe um, something that you lost, maybe it's a, an ex, I don't know, something. You're leaving something behind that you don't want to let go. But this is part of the plan. It is definitely part of the plan. Get prepared for somebody to come along that you have been waiting for. This person is going to give you an offer that gives you an opportunity to start with a clean slate, start over someplace else. This is an exciting opportunity, and you are being called to have faith. You are be being called to take a risk, and that is very dominant here in this reading because we had the fool twice. This is a new beginning where you start a new chapter at the beginning, okay? The fool is the first card in the deck. That that means that you are starting a new journey You're, and you have it twice. So you are going to be starting a new journey, a new chapter of your life. But this means that you have to leave the past behind. Okay, this is leaving the past behind and you got it twice. You're starting with a clean slate. You are starting with... Um, you're not bringing any of that stuff with you, okay? Now, starting with a clean, usually means to me, when I see something like this, it feels like you're moving, you know, you're, 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 you're building a foundation someplace else. That's what I see. So I feel like there is somebody that is, is going to, uh, 
make you uh, a very heartfelt offer. And I think that you should take it because this is, you know, if you don't take it, you're only going to continue to give your power away to whoever it is that hurt you. I can see that there is somebody that has been hurting you. I can, it's clear. It's very clear. But, and this is giving your power away to that person. The, you know, where you're at now, there's, there's a, there's no resources, right? So, Leo, I feel like in three months from now, you're going to be given an opportunity to step into new territory. This opportunity is exciting, and this will give you the chance to leave all of that baggage in the past. I think you got a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That is going to uh, make you this offer. This person knows that you have been hurt. They know that you have been suffering. They do. They know it. They see it. It's clear. This person, this this king, is very caring, very feeling. This guy is intuitive. Okay, he knows that you have been hurt. He knows that that you need some sort of help. He is going to help you. And that is what I got. Good luck.